This is the first of a series of videos I'll be creating on how to use Excel without the mouse. So in part one, we're going to talk about navigating around sheets and between tabs, which is the foundation of navigating Excel without a mouse. So let's run through a series of functions. The first thing we're going to do is just practice the basic navigation around a sheet using arrows. So if you use your arrow keys, you'll see you'll go one cell at a time, down, if you press the right arrow, you'll go right, uh, up arrow, you'll go up, and so on and so forth. This is pretty basic, but if we want to make larger jumps in Excel, we need to hold down the control key. So in this example, we're going to try to jump from sample data to this other sample data column using one keystroke. So first hold down control and now press the arrow key to the right while holding down control one time. You'll see here we jumped data. So when we hold down control what we do is we jump to the edge of the next block of data or we jump to the edge of the current block of data that we're using. So for example if I continue holding control and press the down arrow you'll see I jump to the edge of the current block of data. If I press the down arrow again, I jump to the next piece of data. So this is great for navigating around large spreadsheets with spread out data. Play around a little on your own. The next thing we're going to learn is how to highlight blocks of data. So the very, very basic way to highlight data is to hold down shift and then use the arrow. So if I just hold down shift and press the arrow key, you'll see I can highlight you know, one at a time up, one at a time to each side, one at a time down. But if I want to highlight the whole block in one keystroke, I hold down Shift and Control, or Control and Shift as I've written, at the same time, and then I would press the up arrow once. Here you can see I've highlighted the entire block of data. Luckily, this also works very similarly to Control, whereas if I press the arrow key to the right one time, I'll skip to the next active block of data. So holding shift and control, I'm going to press the right arrow one time. See now I've highlighted this entire block of data. So this is obviously helpful when you're trying to highlight big chunks of data in the Excel spreadsheet if you need to do uh, formatting or things like this. So for the next skill we're going to look at returning to the first active cell in the spreadsheet which is usually cell A1. Sometimes in a very large spreadsheet, it's annoying to have to jump using control to, from each block of data going up and up and up and trying to get to A1. Luckily, there's a very easy shortcut to do this, which is to hold control and then press the home key. So I have a full Windows keyboard right now, and my home key is above my arrow key. Um, if you're on a, a laptop, it might be in a different place, but just look for the key on your keyboard that says home. So hold control, press home, boom, I'm back to A1. Conversely, if I want to go to the last active cell of a spreadsheet, which is the highest number and row combination, I can just hold control and press, and, and press end. So here if I hold control and then hit end, you'll see I jump to K24. And in our spreadsheet, that's basically the highest letter and number where anything is going on in the spreadsheet. So if you have a huge spreadsheet, it'll take you to the bottom right corner of it. So now that we've learned how to cruise around a spreadsheet, and I encourage you to practice on your own, let's learn how to actually navigate between tabs. So the first thing that we're going to learn is um, how to go one tab to the right. So if we hold control and press the page down key, which is very close to the home key, we skip one tab to the right. So if we want to hold control again and press page down again, we skip one tab to the right. And the opposite is true if we hold control and we hit the page up key. One tab to the left, one tab to the left. So this is, this is great when you have a sheet with 10 or sometimes even 50 tabs and you need to basically rip through the sheet and try to get somewhere um, fast. And the last skill is something, and this actually uses the mouse, but I want to include it because it's a time saver. And the reason we abandon the mouse in the first place is because generally it wastes time, but in this situation it saves time, is if you hold control 
and then you scroll the mouse wheel in and out, you can actually zoom in and out. So um, if I'm holding control and I, and I scroll down, you'll see I zoom out. If I'm holding control and I scroll up, you'll see I zoom in. And I find this just a little easier than, um, than using the arrows down here or, or you know, uh, different tabs to zoom in and out. So that's part one of using Excel without a mouse. Um, I developed a course on Microsoft Excel that I hosted on Udemy. It's about learning the 20% of Excel that makes up about 80% of your work. Uh, if you're interested, there's a link below. Please take a look, and thanks for watching.